good, everybody? JV Lewis 77 on Twitter. Back again. You know, it's been a couple of weeks. You know, a couple of weeks ago I was on vacation in Branson, Missouri. Had a great time. Enjoyed myself. Feel good to get away for a while. You know, finally get some time off work, chill, see something different. You know. Yeah, and it was all right. It was all right. You know, uh, planning on going back next year. So, you know, trying to see how that goes. You know, just figuring out what time in the summer to go. But, you know, just going to run off a couple of things, you know, that I've ran across and stuff like that. First things first is that the whole Idris Elba thing where the Arthur Anthony Hawkins, he said that Idris Elba is too strict to play James Bond. But he also said, you know, that it's not a race thing. He said that he that's other black actors he would have in mind to play the role of James Bond. Right, I mean, you know, that's cool, but see, the controversy is, is that you say it's street. What do you imply when you say street? Street can be taken a number of different ways. I mean, is he too black? Is he too hood? I mean, you know, it's just that, that word means different things, you know, like diva means different things depending on who you refer to. Like, some people, when they say diva to this chick, it may mean something, but if you used to call this chick a diva, that means something completely different, you know what I mean? But, um, I mean, come on, man, everybody know what a great actor Idris is. The man can do it. I don't think there's anything that man can't do. I mean, back when he was the hottest cat, you know what I'm saying, when he was Stringer Bell on the wire, and people at the time didn't even know he was British, you know, on America, because he was just, you know, you know, the black people knew who Idris was, but they didn't know he was British, you know, before he went mainstream. You know, obviously he was the big name in Britain, but here, you know, he was just, you know, for the while, he was Stringer Bell. Then he just started getting bigger and bigger in all these movies. Now, he wanted to, you know, set top guys in Hollywood, but I would like to see him play by, you know, hell, if you watch Luther, Luther, he, I, wish it, I wish Luther was longer, but the way he shut it down in there, and I mean, hell man, he just cool dude, suave, he got that, he said swag, but he has it, he has that cool persona, he can make it happen, you know, like I say, man, man like, I don't think, to me, he was, Anthony was being racist, but it could be implied that way just because he said street, but he, you know, apologized, and he said he clumsily used the word street, you know, so he probably realized, you know, like, damn. You know, this can be taken away out of context, you know. If he would have just did it, you know, phrase it different, elaborate it more better, then people wouldn't take it, you know, it wouldn't be such a big deal and some people wouldn't take it as racist. Now, on to some nonsense. I was born and raised in East St. Louis, Illinois. Love my hometown, represented to the fullest. So I think this has happened somewhere else, but it's like about a month or so ago, East St. Louis police has, you know, been putting out to the public about a new carjacking method that's been going on. It's basically where you driving and there's a cat laying in the street. So you go to help or you stop or whatever, another cat come from out of nowhere and puts a gun in your head, sticks you up, jacks your car. So Okay. okay, so you cats club. All right, fine. All right. You cats doing all that thinking. I'm about doing some positive things thinking. So, you motherfuckers got an idea. Club? Who the fuck is y'all, uh, Ed Norton the Fight Club, the club again? Hmm. How's that working out for you? But, people start catching on. This is how it's really going to work out for you. Because, people that's going to be hip, you know, they going to run your stupid ass over. And not only that, they people might run into somebody who may actually need help. Now they gonna be thinking twice about it, you know. So now, here's a fucking dilemma. So you gonna be something like, man, oh man, these fools stay. Oh, not me. Shit, they niggas they gonna catch me. Fuck wrong with them. Honk your horn, run their ass over, you know. Back up, do whatever. But that shit is that's crazy. Right, 
because I, I, I encourage you, it's going to be a situation where somebody's going to be really laying in this tree, need some help, and natural reaction as a human being, you're going to stop or you're going to check to see if the person all right, see if the person need help. You know what I'm saying? And I know before this came on, I know that's what I would do. You know, I wouldn't be one of them people, you know, something going on and, and just standing there watching or something like that. I'm like, oh shit. Hey. But now, you know, I might, you know, people say they rev up their mother in the car. You know what I'm saying? Speed up on them real quick, see if they has get up and start running. You know, that's what's going to end up happening, man. Right? I mean, come on, man. I got to do better than that, man. I got to do better than that. On to NFL football. Now, yesterday, all the teams cut their rosters down to 53 guys. And, of course, that's going to be people that get released. Some you think that they're going to get released. And to see my boy, Charles James III, who's like the star of Hard Knocks, the Houston, Texas on HBO, people love this cat. This cat got heart. He got passion. He got it all. And... Man thought he was a shoe in. He didn't make it. But he'll get picked up though. But just seeing some of the other people, uh, Reggie Wayne asked for his release. Tim Tebow got cut. So I know the whole world mad about that. So many names. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, well, he ain't a big name. But just seeing some of the quarterbacks that got released. You know, Matt Castle got released. Uh, What's your guy name? Uh, Dad Lewis. I really like him. He got released. But you know, I think teams should keep three quarterbacks just in case. Because the way the injuries are, you know, things like that, I think they should. But the funny thing is that all this controversy with RG3, RG3 is penciled in as the backup. Which I thought he was either going to get released, cut, he probably eventually gonna get traded anyway, but the fact that he's the backup. So, and that whole thing, my only problem I ever had with RG3 is that dude talk too damn much. You just need to shut up, just chill. But I think the Redskins as an organization or an abomination, I think these cats purposely got him hurt. John Gruden, you know, uh, before that, shit, the Shanahan's, you know. Uh, it's just crazy. I think the teammates ain't helping that man out, you know. So, depending on what happened on G three, I would not. Uh, I'll be kind of be rooting for the Redskins to fail because how in the preseason you keep getting your ass hit like that? Nobody gets hit like that. So it's like they not blocking them, man. It's it's crazy. Now me, I particularly don't have an NFL team, but that's certain guy guys I'm a root for, you know. I'll be rooting, you know what I'm saying, for Cam in Carolina, you know, I like Cam. You know, there's a couple of other, uh, you know, teams, you know, I like. But, uh, you know, funny thing is my dad a Cowboy fan and I can't stand the Cowboys. You know, that's that's crazy. Uh, I'm not a Rams fan, you know, because I'm not one of them dudes who, I'm not a fan with do it here. Um, it's just how it is. I'm just looking forward to the season so I can have some sports to watch. And then it just tied me over to the NBA comeback. Then we're really going to get into some sports. Because NBA is me 100%. That's what I do. But yeah, a quick tad bit to uh, hit real quick. So, JV Lewis 77 on Twitter, J77 on Instagram. Check my profile and stuff like that. City links to all the pages. Yeah, have a great holiday weekend. Be safe out there. Watch these knuckleheads in the streets. Definitely watch the police. It's just too much craziness out here, man. You know, you just hope that something to change. Oh, one more thing. Those we be sister chicks. Those two black women. Who got these videos and going around supporting Donald Trump? Hey man, 
y'all chicks need to stop for real. I'm just saying. Are they paying y'all? Do y'all really believe this shit? Donald Trump, who's basically out here promoting racist shit, man. You know? This dude clearly is on some racist shit, especially with Hispanics. If you a Hispanic and you voting for Donald Trump or you support that man, you are a fucking idiot. If you are black and you support Donald Trump, you are an idiot. Now, if you a Republican, have at it. But for those we be sister chicks that say that Donald Trump will bring hope to black people is one of the dumbest things I ever heard in my fucking life. And I've heard a lot of dumb shit. Word. So, I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna just leave it at that, man. But, like, Anyway, I catch you to have a good weekend and next video. Peace.